What's up guys, my name is Andy, and in this video I'm going to add a coolant overflow tank to my radiator in my 1966 Mustang. So let's get started. In a previous video, I had replaced the stock radiator in my Mustang because it was cracked and I put in a new Champion unit and I should have put the overflow tank with it and I didn't do it at the time and this is something that you should do when you put in a new radiator. You should have one even if you don't have a new radiator. Uh, but it's one of those things where I finally got around to getting it done. So what we're going to do is we're going to install one today and I'll show you how we're going to do it. Let's take a look at what we have. All right, what we're working with is just a generic, nothing fancy, uh, just a overflow tank that uh, is designed to kind of match with my Champion radiator. Although this same unit would work on lots of other radiators. And the reason why is because these tabs are placed to match the bolt locations on the, the radiator for, my, uh, for what I have. Uh, and then all we have here is just the inlet for the overflow from the radiator to go into this tank. And then if it gets too full, then it'll just, it'll just leak out the bottom here. Although I don't know we're ever going to get that far. But that's what those two tubes are for. And then you can just take this off, this cap off, and uh, you can't really see in there. But uh, that's all that's for. And then the only other thing that it includes in the package is just some hardware for, for mounting and stuff like that. And then I don't know if we're going to need this because, uh, again, we use the mounting locations on the side of the radiator. Let's go take a look at the radiator. All right, where we're going to put this on my car is just right next to the radiator here. Uh, where I've got that, that overflow coolant hose just running down the side and it's just designed to just drain out the bottom if I ever have any overflow. But really, we want to have a tank on here and some people put it on the, the fender wall here. Uh, I'm going to utilize these mounting points that are part of this, this setup here because the tabs are, are lined up with that. And then we're just going to mount on the side and then we'll just hook this two up to the bottom. It's a real simple install. Anybody can do this. All I need is just the tools for that and then uh, we'll put it on. So let's go ahead and get started on it. Okay, so you can see that's a pretty simple installation. Uh, this just mounts to the side, just run the, the hose down to the bottom. Uh, I probably should get a longer length tube because there's a little bit of a kink down here. Um, I think it'll still work, but I think a longer tube would be better for me. And then just kind of hold it in place with the zip tie using that old bracket that I had from before. And uh, that's not going anywhere, that's on there. And so now we're going to capture any excess coolant that comes out of the radiator and uh, we'll be able to utilize it instead of it just going on the ground. All right, simple.
All right, guys, so this is another one of those simple installs. Uh, again, just mount it to the side of your radiator or mount it on your fender or wherever you want to put it. Uh, just having one is probably where you need to be. Uh, I should have done this to begin with when I put this radiator in, but uh, we're getting to it now, so we're good there. Uh, there's nothing There's nothing to real test. I guess you could drive around and make sure, um, but it, it's only going to add any value if the, if the motor starts to get too hot and the, the valve inside the cap here goes and opens up and lets that pressure off. So it's one of those things that uh, I may never even need it, depending if the motor <laughs> gets hot enough or not. But I do have that system in place, so we can use it if we do need it. All right, guys, another one in the books. It's easy. Guys, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Uh, it helps my channel out. All right, guys, thanks for sticking with me. We'll see you in the next one.